The all-new Laurel Park is beyond your expectations. Feel the anticipation. Hi, Maryland Racing fans, and welcome to the final racing program of the month of July here at Laurel Park, Sunday, July 29th. As we roll into the month of August, a reminder, our Laurel Park racing schedule now, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Join us for live racing and simulcast action Thursday through Sunday through the remainder of the Laurel Park summer meet. So racing Thursday to Sunday, post time at 110. Coming up during the month of August, August 18th will be Maryland Pride Day with Maryland Racing Food and Drink. We'll have four stakes races and a free Maryland Jockey Club polo shirt with a racing program purchase on Maryland Pride Day on August 18th here at Laurel Park. Fast on the main track and good on the turf course for all the Sunday action. Here's the first of nine from Sunday afternoon. And they're off. Little Big Lou is sort of again. Vineyard and Sonic Boomy Jet Telling Warrior up there too with early speed. And so Franco is pitching in in between horses to make four almost in a line. Quest of Glory is in fifth. And Tarahumar and Little Big Lou and Elementary is in the back. Eight lengths will cover that field. Sonic Boomy Jet just off the inside with So Franco running second near that rail. Vineyard with early speed outside in third. And Quest of Glory in between horses for Telling Warrior fifth. Tarahumar and his Little Big Lou and Elementary is in the back. Seven or eight will cover the field. Field. The opening quarter went at 23.03, so a sharp pace out there as Sonic Boomy Jet leads the way into the far turn, does the favorite with Vineyard trying to make inroads from second. And next is Quest of Glory, the third, and so Franco retreating down to the inside. Now passed by Telling Warrior, who's taken fourth with two and a half furlongs left to go. And here is Vineyard. Vineyard challenging the favorite Sonic Boomy Jet in earnest to grab the lead right there at the quarter pole. And Quest of Glory is third, and Telling Warrior is in fourth at Lamentary is past a couple of tired ones into fifth into the stretch at the 360s and it's Vineyard and heavy on Toledo and a willing Sonic Boomy Jet battling back for more. Sonic Boomy Jet is not done. Sonic Boomy Jet, Vineyard, Vineyard just in front. Vineyard by ahead. Sonic Boomy Jet is coming back and roaring back on the rail. Photo finish. Photo up and down. Sonic Boomy Jet or Vineyard. Elementary. Then Telling Warrior. Quest of Glory. And error off. Coleman Flair was slow to begin. Zen Pop of the Gray in private Tudor. If you build it in third position, here's Anna Soit forward to the outside. Anna Soit rushing all the way up third and now second. Mr. Stream in the blue colors racing up close now in the fourth spot, followed by Scrapple. Relentless Strike is in between horses. And next in between there is uh, if you build it is drop back a little bit as relentless strike is pushed forward to fourth on the inside around that far turn scrapple ranging up three wide to challenge the pacemakers and a soy and zen papa three of them in a line as they reach to the top of the stretch colmont fire the far outside making progress after breaking last in the field colmont fire fourth in the extreme outside and they're followed by relentless strike and if you build it 
And next is Mr. Stream, back of the pack. A Whiskey 7 is not doing much at all. And Private Tutor in the last furlong, Colmont Fire. Broke last but on top. And if you build it, coming with a charge at the outside. That final furlong and Whiskey 7 uncoiling a rally with a 16th mile to go. Whiskey 7 coming on the outside. If you build it, if you build it to get there to win. From the oncoming Whiskey 7 with a good late rush to finish second. Zapkin and Chacoman, Volpinator on the outside. At the inside is Haynes Fever, 4 over to the first turn run. And Don Acting and Shotmaster is in the back, compact field. Only three and a half or four lengths will cover them as Haynes Fever down against that rail leads the way and Chacoman on the outside to keep that one company. Volpinator, Zapcat broke with him, but is well settled in the early stages in fourth and Shotmaster is fifth. Don Acting is six now, six from the front. As Chacoman leads the way a half length from Haynes Fever through a 24.5 zero opening quarter mile. Gap of two lengths and Vulpinator is in third. Shotmaster still on the inside there. And Zapcat is in between horses as they run now toward the five furlong mark and Dunn acting as last of the group. So it's Chaco Mount and Haynes Fever. Still one, two, it's three back. Zapcat, Shotmaster third and fourth. Vulpinator and Dunn acting trailing the half mile in 48.55. Heading off with a far turn run now. Chaco Mount still going at it. Haynes Fever roaring back for more on the inside with four furlongs left to go. Another two and a half lengths and Zapcat and Shotmaster. Here comes Dunn Acting. Dunn Acting rolling on the outside and Dunn Acting. Dunn Acting with a three wide bid, three furlongs to go. Zapcat very much in it too. So midpoint on that final turn and it's Chakamont, Dunn Acting, Haynes Fever and Zapcat is fourth and looming at the top of the stretch. Three or four chances as they make the turn for home. Dunn Acting leads the way. Chakamont on the inside pressure to stay on. Zapcat is driven in third. Haynes Fever is backed off in fourth with a final furlong. It's done acting. Done acting with a three length lead and kept a steady pressure now opening four on Zapcat then Haynes Fever next and Chaco Mount with a 16th left to go. Done acting and Alex Cintron. Done acting sharp to win by almost five. Zapcat was second. Haynes Fever third then Chaco Mount and And they're off.
Daystrike Baybridge hustled up for the early lead as well and speed game from in between horses. Rye Patch with speed to the far outside. Here's Brickyard Kitten back in fifth early, then Zen's Land and Liberty Lane, followed by What Everybody Wants as they move to the turn run. In the back of the pack is Diana's Vendetta. Diana's Vendetta's already got to be 17 lengths off a hot pace going as Bay Bridge and Rye Patch go at it head to head at a quick pace. Daystrike is four lengths off them in third. 23.90 is the opening quarter mile. Another four lengths back, and it is Speed Game is racing fourth. Brickyard Kitten and Zen's Land, what everybody wants. Liberty Lane and Diana's Vendetta is well back now. Got to be 25 lengths off the lead. Of Rye Patch, who's just in front and a half in 46.96. Rye Patch getting away a bit from Bay Bridge is a length back second spot. Day Strike's been chasing the hot pace and ready to roll on the outside for third position. On the inside, Zen's Land starts starting to move as well. Then Speed Game, Brickyard Kitten with eight lengths to come. Brickyard Kitten, three deep with three furlongs left to go. So it's Rye Patch, Bay Bridge, re-attacks on the outside. Day Strike, Speed Game is fourth. Now Brickyard Kitten is unwinding on the outside with a quarter of a mile left to run and Zen's Land, what everybody wants, followed by Liberty Lane and Diana's Vendetta. They're into the stretch and it's Rye Patch has been running hard the whole way. Zen's Land tries to pounce one off the inside. Brickyard Kitten on the outside Bay Bridge from in between horses speed game for a share an eighth of a mile left to go Brickyard Kitten Brickyard Kitten from Zen's Land in second then speed game Brickyard Kitten and Alex Sintron to win by two from Zen's Land then speed game and Bay Bridge and followed by Rye Patch what everybody wants And they're off. Wiggle Room and Royal Brown also neat. He rides again and Choice Prospect stoking up early speed to make four right across the track. Thalia's Song is back in fifth. Marie from Paris advancing a bit from six within two and a half of the lead. Then it's back to Corbett in between horses out of juice getting underway on the outside heading into the turn run. Grace Isabella is back there with Saturday's rain. Into the far turn where it's Choice Prospect pouring on the speed. Opening up three lengths. Choice Prospect by three from Royal Brown. Marie from Paris out of juice is racing fourth. The outside is Grace Isabella in fifth. Then it's back to Niti rides again. Corbett in between horses. Thalia Song now has to come wide. They're into the stretch with a quarter of a mile left to go. Turning for home and it's Choice Prospect. Marie from Paris. Set down to the outside to take the lead. Marie from Paris. Grace Isabella coming with a bit of run out of juice from in between horses trying to run on two. And then it's Corbett. Nathan of a mile left to go. And it's Marie from Paris with a two length lead on Grace Isabella. Far outside Saturday's rain is closing. Here comes Saturday's Rain on the far outside and Corbin four in a line Saturday's rain and Marie from Paris and Corbin in between with Grace Isabella.
and are off. Special story intent on the lead from the inside with Whirling Kylan right there and Super Buddy on the outside. Actually, there's Stomp Dance who's got that early speed. Outside is Super Buddy. So Super Buddy and Stomp Dance back to Special Story racing in third position and Greek Prince alongside is Cheese on another five. Whirling Curlin racing third last position. Legends Hope and here's a favorite, Southern Wild who is last wild three deep and about nine to ten lengths off of a hot opening quarter mile. 22.82 was an opening two for Furlongs. It's Super Buddy flashing right along with four furlongs left to go. Stomp Dance and Special Story. Cheese On is in fourth, and Greek Prince is in fifth position. Now the outside Southern Wild getting underway. Southern Wild just about to pass. Greek Prince is drawn within six of the lead into the far turn. Legends Hope and Whirlin Curlin back of the pack. So with two and a half furlongs left to go, the half went in 45.79. The pace has been super hot, and here's Special Story just in Tron, but Southern Wild on the far outside with a sweeping wide rally. Southern Wild at the inside is Stomp Dance trying to hang in top. In between horses, Cheese on also coming with a bit of a bid. One furlong left to go. Southern Wild's in front from Special Story, then Cheese on in third. Out in the center is Legends Hope. And in between horses, Whirlin Curlin to the back of the pack. Southern Wild to do it. Southern Wild, a popular winner from Special Story. Then Cheese on and Whirlin Curlin, Legends Hope. Thirty five feet and they're off. Awkward beginning there for Fleet Ferry is the back of the pack. We half now and awesome out for the early advantage. Favorite Luna Rill in between horses and Resonate is right there in the lead group too. Another two and a half and Cape La Dida and Playa Chica racing about mid to pack. A Fleet Ferries widest out into the first turn run followed by Lutnani and Malibu Treasure last of them all. So round the turn and, uh, and back of the pack uh, there is uh, last position is Malibu Treasure. So around that turn they go, and it's Awesome leading the way. Awesome about a length and a half in front from Luna Rill in the second spot. We Hap now is in third. Playa Chica on the outside in fourth. Resonate is in fifth, and Cape La Dida six of Fleet Ferry, another three. And back to Luton Nanny being pulled up out of the race is Malibu Treasure. Malibu Treasure is pulled up. Opening quarter went 24.26, half 49.22. Heading onto the far turn, Awesome. Awesome leading the way, but here is Lunaril. Lunaril getting ever closer on the outside. The far turn run, three A's from home. We Hap now is in third, then Playa Chica is in fourth, and a Fleet Ferry up there with a three wide bid. They're followed by Resonate, who's dropping back, and then Cape La Dida and Lutonani coming to the top of the stretch. Three of them in a line. Lunaril punching between horses. The outside there is a Fleet Ferry. A Fleet Ferry is just in front. Lunaril spying that rival and coming back. Back for a little more of the final furlong. Cape Lottie does on the scene, but racing very greenly, shifting in and trying to get straight. And Lunar Rill Ultra Game coming back for more. Lunar Rill reaching. Lunar Rill from a Fleet Ferry. Lunar Rill to win it about a length from a Fleet Ferry. Cape Lottie Dawes was third, then play a cheek. Oh, we have now.
And they're off. Paul is sharp to leave the gate from Key Mono on the inside, and Jiggy Cheese Dog is in the fight early between horses, and King's House is racing in fourth. Then it's Shane's Jewel out in the clear outside there in fifth, and Waterhaven in between rivals, and Bronx Sandman trailing the field. Heading over the far turn, a keyed up Key Mono just in front of neck from Jiggy Cheese Dog, and Hollis is right there keeping pace while three or four wide. King's House at the inside racing fourth position, and Shane's Jewel getting a little bit closer within three of the lead. Bronx Sandman is next, and Waterhaven. 22.22 razor sharp opening quarter mile and Hollis is going right to the front now from Jiggy Cheese Dog Hollis Jiggy Cheese Dog and Shane's Jewel to the attack wide outside and King's House is back in fourth into the stretch now Hollis is let loose Hollis comes for home widening lead two and a half three lengths of the furlong left to go from the battling Jiggy Cheese Dog the outside Bronx Sandman and Shane's Jewel Hollis is in front Hollis holding by two Hollis from Bronx Sandman Hollis Bronx Sandman coming but too late Hollis Hollis to do a length from Bronx Sandman Shane's Jewel was third Jiggy Cheese Dog or Wind up. And they're off. Dreaming of Dewey, Princess Kilmaine showing speed on the inside, then Egber and Mo Madness out in fourth. Here's Bat Herd later, long shot on the outside, racing fifth well, three deep on the course. And Palsy Wellsy racing back of the pack. Lonely Drifter right alongside of that one as they head to the far turn run. Oh, so lovely is last of them all. The speed is on. Dreaming of Dewey with a six length advantage from Princess Kilmaine in a 22.21 opening quarter mile. Dreaming of Dewey isolated now, six or seven in front from Princess Kilmaine. Kilmain then bet her later is in third. Lonely Drifter is in fourth and Egbert racing fifth position. Palsy Wowsy with a couple of beaten at this point. It's Mo Madness oh so lovely into the stretch and it's Dreaming of Dewey a five length lead. Princess Kilmain now center of the course trying to come with her run. Princess Kilmain running down. Dreaming of Dewey. Here comes Egbert chiming in the far outside. Here's Lonely Drifter. Lonely Drifter surging past them all and from dead last oh so lovely. Last to first oh so lovely. Lovely, heavy on Toledo with a triple. Oh, so lovely from Egbert and uh, Lonely Drifter in the photo and then a little late run from Palsy Wowsy.
That's a wrap for the Sunday card here at Laurel Park. Nine races in the books. Join us Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday racing now through the end of Laurel Park a summer meet before the racing scene shifts to the Maryland State Fair and Timonium races later during the month of August and through Labor Day weekend. Thanks for watching the replays from Sunday afternoon. We'll see you Thursday with a 110 post.